Welcome everyone, I'm Joe the Lawnmower, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm hanging up my Christmas lights a little bit early, so I'm going to show you a couple tricks that I've learned over the years. So let's get started. So one of the first tricks that I'm going to show you, and something that I learned actually on YouTube a couple years ago, is this tree right here, what we usually do with this tree right here is wrap it with white and blue lights and then the rest of my house is a green and uh, red theme. Just for Christmas purposes, I like the red and green and then this is like a frozen tree I call it because of the blue and the white theme that's on this tree. And as you can see, we wrap the branches with lights and it can be very difficult to wrap lights around trees. So I found something on YouTube a couple years ago and I think you guys at home will appreciate it as well. So I have my last strand of blue right here and what I normally do is is I always plug one end in somewhere on the tree and then on the other end what I'll do is, is I'll wrap it around my hand and then that way I have kind of like a ball and then it's easier to wrap the tree. So let me show you. What I'm going to do is first is I'm going to untangle this strand and then I'm going to wrap it up. So those blue cords might have not been the best example. You know how LEDs, they have three cords and after a while, those cords just come undone. Especially I've, those I think I've had for, this would have been the third season I would have had them for. So I just went to Lowe's today, I got new, brand new LED warm white. I love the warm white. I just like them better than the cool white in my opinion. I just think it's like a, it's a obviously it's warm white. It's a warmer feel than the cool white. I just feel the cool white is like just a little bit brighter. That's just my personal taste. That's just what I like. But again, I'm gonna use the same example here. I have the end here, the female. These are nicely tightly wound, so it's a little bit easier to do. And of course, it's really windy when I'm filming this today. But you can see here I have the male end right here. So again, we're gonna work on this branch right here. It goes all the way down to the base, base trunk of the tree. We're gonna work our way up, but we have that nice clump now. So then all we have to do is just untangle it and it's nicely in my arm, my hand right now. So let me show you how easy it is once you have it like this. And there you have it. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit easier of a trick, especially when you're hanging lights and wrapping them around the tree. Again, I saw this on YouTube a couple years ago and I've been using it for at least three seasons now. And it's just, it's so much easier to wrap them up in that ball like I showed you. And then if for some reason they get tangled, then just let it go again and then wrap it up again. It's just so much easier. I find it a lot easier to wrap these trees that way as opposed to either doing, wrapping them around your arm like you would like an extension cord or just having them loosely. I think just that ball, wrapping them up in that ball for some reason it just makes life a lot easier. So I'm very fortunate to have a one story roof. I live at on a rancher and it's very easy to get on my roof. My sunroom over on the other side has a lower roof line so I only have to have an eight foot ladder I can hop up on that sunroof and then it connects to the remainder of my house. So what I'm going to show you next is, is the clips and how they work. So here's an example right here. This is the warm white again. I believe these are C9s. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe they are the C9 bulbs. LED, warm white, and as you can see here, these clips, they just clip in very easily. All you have to do is, once you do it the first time, you won't have to do it again. So the first time, obviously, putting these clips all along this string right here, it's going to take you some time. But once you do it, you won't have to worry about it again. And as you can see, you could easily just fit them underneath your shingle, like I have right here, or you can put them underneath your where your shingles meet your uh, roof line. There's I have like a little crease in there. So what I do is is I just slip them right in there. And as you can see, I mean it's it's super windy right now. It just got done raining, so it's really windy. And you can see these things; they barely budge. After I've put them up on my roof, I've never had to come back up here and fix them. They're nice and sturdy, as you can see here. They don't move, They're, it's really nice. I really like these clips and I highly recommend them if you're gonna go this route on like a roof line, especially if you're gonna put lights on a roof line. These are, I highly recommend these. So as you can see, I have them, I can have them coming down my roof line right here. They come up this roof line right here. And then they come down this roof line. 
and then they basically just end right there at the top and just like what i was talking about earlier as you could see i have an eight foot ladder right here it's very easy just to hop right up on my sunroof and then as you can see my roof lines connect so i can just easily get into the front of my house just right on this lower roof line i don't need anything super big for ladder wise so the only spots in my house that i have old-fashioned bulbs are around my garage right here and around my doorway right here behind me so let me go show you them they're the old bulbs where if one blows out you just put a new one in we have them mixed here they're uh, green and red they're just red and green throughout the strand that's what we've just been doing it dates back to like when i was a kid we've had this kind of strand right here i've had to update these strands i think twice now i have had to get newer ones just because the the old ones are just going but what the bad thing right now is i went to ace earlier today and he actually told me that they're discontinuing these colors right here these aren't the ones that have like the film on them like there's like a coating on them these are like the incandescent ones and he said they were discontinuing them but he was able to order me a 25 pack of both red and green so maybe he didn't know what he was talking about i'm not sure but yes i really love these things they're really cool maybe eventually i'll probably update these to an led version but for now i really liked them they're just it's a lot of nostalgia a lot of vintage right there i love that vintage and nostalgia look of those old christmas bulbs especially these ones right here so this is the front right here we have a net light around this bush right here we have a green spotlight right here this is all led again pretty much everything switched over except for that one strand this is led right here this christmas tree and what's really cool about this christmas tree dates back to when my son was first born that was his first christmas we actually got this live tree at a local tree farm and we planted it right out front when we were redoing our flower beds when we first moved in um, and this thing this tree was probably about to like right here originally and it's grown obviously a decent amount uh, since then so that's really cool about this tree and then as we can see over here we have a net light as well and we have another spotlight down there so that's it that we have in our front right here so i will see you at nighttime and we're back it is nighttime and this house is lit up this frozen tree right here behind me i know i'm going to be a little bit dark in the picture but it looks really great as you can see we have the, the white and the blue theme right here and again these are the uh, warm white lights they're led lights again most of my house is mostly led at this point except for that one strand that i showed you earlier and i'll show you what it looks like lit up in a second but as you can see here this tree looks really awesome and then here is the front now all lit up as you can see those spotlights right there that green one and then you have the red one on the other end right there What's really cool about this light right here on the Christmas tree is once the re regular house lights go off, the or I should say once the Christmas lights go off, this white uh, tree right here, the warm white right here will stay on all night. And then uh, my landscaping lights that I have, they stay on as well. And just to give you an idea of my landscaping lights, I'll go over here and show you. I have them right here all along the side of my house. That tree back there behind me is lit up the one out front the frozen trees lit up and then the front of the house is lit up as well landscaping lights guys it's really inexpensive really low voltage lighting it's awesome if you want to light up your house go check that out it's really easy to do they make it really easy these days to do uh landscaping lighting and then we come back out to the front of the house as you can see we have the blow-ups right here the santa the christmas tree the kids they just picked that out this year at, at home it's a store in new jersey it's called at home i don't know if it's national or not but it's like a decorative store they bought them this year they actually just got them today cool little four foot blow ups they're led as well inside as you can see we got the santa stop here sign the blow mold sign right or the blow mold santa which is awesome it's so vintage so nostalgia i love that blow mold that dates back to when i was growing up like i said earlier and then again we have the red and the green bulbs right here the ones that i was showing you guys earlier and then it all how all you have to do is once they blow out you just change them and again i might have to go look to another option maybe next year if i can't find these bulbs after this year unless i order enough or more of them but like i said the guy at ace was saying they these older incandescent kind they might be going out of stock they might be discontinuing them so i might have to find an led option next year but for now these are a great throwback it's so vintage seeing these kind of bulbs still around today as i back out you can see the led lights up there on the roof line all outlining all up and down 
all around, no bulbs are out, which is a great thing. And then one more thing, I just wanted to show you guys what I meant about the frozen tree. So as you can see here behind me, this is the street right here behind me. Cars come up this right here, this horseshoe pretty much is what my street is. And then what happens is when they come around that corner down there, you turn around and then bam, those, that tree right there hits you right in that face. And then the house with those spotlights, I just added those spotlights last year. I really think they're a nice little touch. And then if you're not really into hanging lights, I think spotlights are awesome. Those are LEDs as well. You can see they look really great as well. But that tree right there behind you, that frozen tree, that's what I call it. It just, bam, it just hits you right in the face. So just a quick video today, guys. Actually, this time last year, I did a video similar to this one. It was actually one of my very first videos on my channel. It might have been like maybe the fourth or fifth uh, video. I was just getting into filming stuff on YouTube and... This was one of the things that I showed you guys. I just showed you guys the lights. I didn't show you uh, how I put them around the tree right here or the clips on the, the uh, roof line. I just didn't have time and I was just getting into it and I'm a lot more comfortable now filming in front of, front of the uh, video, uh, the camera obviously. So this is my second attempt of a Christmas video. Obviously it's a little bit different than grass care, but I feel like a lot of people out there that do the grass work also like doing Christmas lights. I know I do. Christmas, it's I, my opinion, it's only once a year. I always try and go big with the lights if I can. I try adding new things each year because honestly, guys, it really is a magical time of the year, especially if you have kids. Um, my kids, they just absolutely love Christmas. Polar Express is one of their favorite movies. Uh, they just absolutely love that movie, and I just love to put these lights up just for them and just for people to come down the street and they see these lights and for me when I see Christmas lights it just brings me joy it just brings you happiness when I see lights especially around the Christmas time so everyone at home I hope you have a Merry Christmas I know this video is going to be coming out in November or probably before Thanksgiving but honestly I just wanted to get this out to you guys as soon as possible but again I hope everyone at home has a Merry Christmas a Happy Holidays to everyone that has subscribed to my channel if this is your first time watching a video thank you and all to the, all my subscribers thank you again for subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed today's content make sure you smash that like button it really does help out with the channel it helps out with people find the videos on my channel and if you have any questions or concerns on today's video especially how i showed you how to bunch up these lights leave them in the comment section below and like always guys i'll see you in the next one